Okay, so many of you are asking me to create a motion poster regarding the event promotion in After Effects and here is a video for all of you. So I have made the steps very easy. So even if you were a beginner, you can follow along with me and create this motion poster within a couple of minutes. So with that said, now let's begin. Alright, to begin with, I'll just drag and drop the images over here and now place this image just like this way and place the second image perfect now place the third image and scale it properly according to your composition now let's create a new camera set the 50 millimeter camera preset all right and uh, after that just turn on 3d for all of these images now we have to animate the camera okay so for that what i'll do i'll change it to two views horizontal from active camera to top view okay here you can see that we can animate the cameras over here perfect select the third image and just push it over here and you can change the position a little bit upward then select the second image and again push this one a little bit backward and then select the first image and drag this one now here is our camera and you can move the camera just like this and it will reveal the layers and after that what i'll do i'll go to the camera option and there i'm going to turn on depth of field it's just like the normal camera that we use in our real life and it adds some blur and focus point as well so now just increase the aperture value quite high and now here you can see that if i move the camera and set the focus point to this image this image is in focus right if we change if we drag this one and set the focus point to our first image you can see that our first image is in focus so that what's exactly what we want and there i'm going to set a keyframe on the point of interest and position okay and i'm going to drag this one like this and i'm going to change the point of interest just like that I'll just drag the Z axis like this way so it will go out of frame. I'll go around one second and after that I'm going to drag the Z axis like this way so it will be in focus just like this and after that I'll just copy these two keyframes. I'll go around two seconds and I'll paste it over here then I'll go to three seconds and this time I'm going to drag the z-axis like this and i'm going to change the point of interest just like that and then again i'll copy these two keyframes i'll go around four seconds i'll paste it then i'll go to around five second and this time i'm going to drag the z-axis again and change the point of interest to over here okay and at this point i'm going to select the image one and i'll set a keyframe on the scale so i'll press alt shift and s drag this keyframe over here and now let's increase the size of it a little bit so after that what i'll do i'll select all of these keyframes and i'll add some easy ease to them okay and i'll do the same for the scale animation as well now let's ramp preview it and let's see yep looking nice perfect all right looking good and after that what i'll do i'll just drag and drop the texture image that i have already given you so drag and drop that and make it 3d as well and after that increase the texture size a little bit and then add a tint effect on top of that and after that just change the white color to something like that okay now let's ramp preview it and let's see how it is looking so far okay looks good right and now let's add some strobe effect uh, very easily we will do that so i'll create a new solid layer and just crop it like this i'll press t to reveal the opacity property and i'll press alt and left click to add an expression and that is wiggle 10 comma 100 add a fill effect decrease the opacity to 70 percent so i'll place this one over here and now let's see perfect right so you can see that it is adding some kind of strobe effect add a smoke texture that i have already given and now just change the rotation of it to minus 90 degree and change the blending mode to green and now let's ramp it 
you can see now let's add some text animations so for that what i'll do i'll go to the text and after that i'll add animate and let's uh, add position and after that add opacity and add one more property and that is tracking okay so i'll set the position to 50 i'll set the opacity to 0 and i'll set the tracking amount to something like that and i'll set the opacity to 0 after that and now go to your range selector set a keyframe on the offset value 10 20 frames forward and make it 100 okay now select these two keyframes and just drag these two handles and it will add some easing to this okay now let's ramp preview it here you can see the text animation if you want you can just drag this one to around one second and now let's see looking good and uh, over here i'm going to add another texture and that is our fire so after that what i'll do i'll just increase the size of it and i'm going to place this one over here okay and now go to your blending mode and make it screen now let's ramp preview one more time and let's see how it is looking yep looking very very cool right all right so in this way you can make a event motion poster within just a couple of minutes and i hope you have learned something new today if you like this kind of video please hit the like button and with that said this is shubham pramanik signing off and i'll see in the next one keep animating keep smiling <laughs>